Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to do a mock-up uh, for a customer using pictures of real wood. Let's go ahead and uh, dive right in, get started. We have this example picture of a colorway that a customer would like, but they're having a hard time visualizing it. So we are going to mock it up using these different colors of wood uh, and the live bucket uh, tool to kind of plan it out first. So I made a copy of the quilt itself. I'm going to use the selection tool and I'm going to select the entire quilt. We are then going to use the paint bucket, live paint bucket tool, and we are going to fill it in with uh, the different colors just to plan it out first. So let's say we're going to use white first. Um, so we're going to go over to fill, we're going to select white, and we are going to just start out on the inside and work our way out. Now that's not a great example because you can't really see what I just filled in. So I'm going to go ahead and show grid so you can kind of see where the white has filled in. So now we are going to go ahead and Let's add a little bit of white over here and a little bit of white over here. And I think that's probably good for the white. Uh, so now we are going to select a different color. Let's maybe do the darker color. Now, what I just did um, was I had it selected and if I have the whole thing selected, when I, hit the eyedropper or the spots that are selected when I hit the eyedropper, it's going to change those colors um, to whatever the eyedropper is on, uh, wherever I've filled in the paint. So we don't want to use the selection tool now, we just want to use the paint bucket tool now. So we're going to grab the eyedropper and go straight to paint bucket. And we are going to fill in our darkest color, our black. And I'm just kind of trying to follow a similar color pattern as the quilt above um, because that's what she likes. That's what she wanted to see, that same kind of colorway. Um, so let's see here. That's spaced by, what, four spaces. So we'll kind of space it out similar all throughout. And... Add some black here. And let's go to the medium or the dark brown. Uh, so we will go ahead and use our eyedropper tool again to pick up that darker brown color and just fill it in, planning out our colors, following our pattern. Let's grab the next tone of brown. Again, going straight to your uh, live paint bucket tool. That's kind of ugly, but that's okay. Um, just keep filling it in. We're just doing this to, to plan out the colors first real quick and then we can quickly apply the wood. So now our lighter color, go back to paint bucket tool. We're going to select again following our pattern, the different color of the lighter wood. And I think our last one is the turquoise, this blue color, which is so pretty. Uh, ooh, I don't really like that color, but that's okay. Again, the wood will change once we go to the wood. So now we are going to, let's see here. So we've got, currently I have four different colors of wood. Um... Maybe we'll, hmm, I 
maybe I should open up some more wood colors. Let's go ahead and we're going to jump over. I'm going to search. I have an actual folder that I just save of wood photos. So let's grab a few of these and see what we get. And we're going to just open them right up into Illustrator. Let's see. Will this work? So they're opening. Let's see here. So that's kind of a medium brown. So let's select it. We're going to copy it. And we are going to paste it onto our board. And let's go back and look at the other ones that we picked. I don't know if, if I love those get together, but let's go ahead and copy this one over. And See what else we got here. That's a good light, light brown, light wood tone. And let's grab one more. Maybe, maybe not. I think this is probably good. I think this works. Yeah, I like those because they're warmer. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our quilt. And now you're going to understand why I went ahead and filled it in. So first thing we need to do is we need to, oh, maybe we should do the frame. Should we do the, fill in the frame? Let's go ahead and do the eyedropper tool, grab the color that we want to do the frame and then go back to paint and we'll fill in those colors. Okay, that works. So now let's select all of it and we are going to expand. We are going to expand object and fill. We are not going to expand stroke. We're going to hit okay. Now we need to ungroup a bunch of times. Ungroup it, ungroup it, ungroup it. And now you'll see that all the pieces are separate. So now what we're going to do is we are going to select same fill color. I was selected on that medium tone. And we are going to make it a compound path by hitting command eight. We are going to grab our medium tone wood that we like. We are going to arrange it and send it to the back. And then we are going to again select the mid-tone. We are going to select the wood. And then we are going to hit Command 7. And you're basically making a mask. You're applying that wood grain to that color. So now let's do the next one. So we're going to select the black, select same fill color. We are going to grab the black wood. We are going to arrange and send it to the back. We are then going to select the wood. And we are going to make a compound path and then again, select and mask. So now let's keep going. This is looking pretty good so far. We're going to grab that darker brown, select same fill color. We're going to make it a compound path. We are going to bring the wood over. We are going to arrange and send it to the back. And then we are going to select the, the darker 
uh, brown and the wood, and then again, command seven. Uh, let's see here, we've got three colors left, it looks like. So let's do the lighter wood. Oh, no, let's do the white. Select uh, same fill color, make it a compound path, bring your white over, send to the back, select the white, select the wood, and command seven. Okay, so two more colors left, the lightest wood, Arrange, send it back, select the lightest tan, select same fill color. We are going to again make it a compound path and then make it a mask. Now we've got the turquoise left, so let's grab that one, that wood color, bring it down. We're going to send it to back. Let's grab the bluish turquoise, select same fill color, make a compound path, select the turquoise board, make a mask. Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna change the stroke color so that it's more of a realistic looking cut line. So we'll just grab the color picker tool and just kind of find a darker brownish, blackish color, and we'll change the stroke to that color. And that's it guys. I hope you found the tutorial useful, and if you want more Illustrator tutorials, just let me know. If you have any questions, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks!